With all the work that I did in the factory, the defense plants and the shipyards, I feel that I am Rosie the Riveter. I think that we should be put out in public more and uh, really recognized, not just as uh, defense workers, but as people who were, were making the uh, livelihood for our families while the husbands and the uh, boyfriends are away. This is a picture of my husband at the time. We were married December 31st, 1941. The uh, drill presses and the lathes and the screw machines and the milling machine all had big belts with the pulley on the ceiling, flapping noise. And uh, you worked in a spray of turpentine or something. You cleaned yourself with motor oil at the end of the day. <laughs> but you felt you were doing it for the war, you know. So uh, it was interesting. Lunch hour, for the longest time, we would sit around, sit on crates with our, our long work aprons and pants and whatever. And one of the bosses, Mo Kammer, would read a scene from Othello, and we would discuss it. Remember the, the differences in education. I saw all around me people, some of whom had never finished eighth grade. It's just entranced. We all went to see Othello, and we saw Paul Robeson and Uta Hagen and Jose Ferrer as Iago. From a factory. When the war broke out, that was the first time I really had a job which I liked. Even though I don't like the idea of the war, I mean, it was something that I knew how to do and uh, use tools. Oh, this is a flexible shaft. This you use for drilling, polishing, um, burring. You use it for everything. These are all workers from the machine shop. Tricks were played on, on newcomers like me. I'd be sent to the tool room. The, they call it the tool room, some name like that. It was like a big cage with all kinds of tools to get a left-handed hammer or ask for a bastard file just to make me blush, you know. <laughs> but I knew that we, were, we were, weren't treated equal, you know. I knew as far as the pay went and everything. I said, I, I, I want to go to the union. I want to see the union. So I went to the union. I think it was Mr. Brown. And um, I said, look what's happening. I said, this is not true. I was supposed to be a journeyman, $1.20 an hour. You're still taking my dues. And he says, you know, we don't want you women here. I said, oh, you don't? I said, why do you think we're here? I mean, there's a war going on. I mean, are you aware of why we're here? And I really laced it into him. And he got it for me. I said, oh, oh, uh -oh. not enough but you're going to get it for all the other women. These women are wives and girlfriends of the men who were fighting, and they were from Oklahoma, Kansas City, and they couldn't really fight for themselves, and so we got it. Mm -hmm.